Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. In the last episode, we, uh, I guess, liberated the Waddledees down? I'm not sure how else to explain it. And unlocked the world map, allowing us to go to downtown Grasslands. Now, before I... Well, I'm going to talk about this to you all. So, with my recording software, I don't know how to turn my mic up any more than it is. I'm able to move. Where'd Alpha go? Oh, so I'm sorry if I'm really quiet in this series. But yeah, this is the same level. That's one way to ram. So anyway, this is the first level they let you play in the demo that's not at the bottom of the I gotta get there and not ramming people. You know what? Just get them out. Anyway. Over here we have a new ability and actually a quest, a high tool blue. The new ability is Cutter. It can cut grass like four, or you can hold it there to charge. And it can do a lot of damage, and when you return it, it has a wide area of effect. Yeah, that's uh, not broken at all. I think I'm gonna bother you because you're just hiding. I really gotta get better at this, it's not hard to- Oh, you, there's a melee combo with that? It acts like a boomerang too, oh gosh. Yeah, just stand there for a second. Alright. So, there's a switch there with some cake inside. However, I'm- Wait, you can get- I didn't know they could get things. Over here, there's another tulip. It's a bit more stuff. So, Alright, over here we have a new Dolpho mode. Vending machine. You can shoot out soda cans. Like a minigun. I am a tank. Fight me. You really... Right, also, you can pick up some points in the cans and shoot as well. The building shutter. Okay, so I think that saves a waddle to you. Oh, it looks like you can pick up the cans even outside of the building mode. I mean, even outside of the vending machine mode. That's neat to know. Over here, we have a capsule. I know what these are from the demo. They basically give you stuff at the end of the level. I'll talk about that later, because I'm not exactly sure how to explain it without showing you guys. Here we have a big enemy that I was going to try to inhale, I'm still going to try it. You just spit the entire piece out of me, give him a copy of that. So, there's a warp star. Basically, if you go to the warp star, you will not be able to return to this area. Ooh, a big chunk of loot. I think that's a full heal. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's not full heal. That's the maximum tomato. That's, alright, that's pretty good. Cool. So, Looks like can you Alright. So it looks like there's another bomb there. If I'm correct, I can also just Yeah, you can inhale either the bomb or the enemy will be a bomb is gonna be. It looks like there's creeps over here which will be for the bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tail down the way if I can't bother us. As well as you, because you're bothering us. And over here we have a bomb for it. Oh! No, I'm pretty sure that there's... Yes, there's special talents you can do with the code. Unfortunately, there's only one talk. So, code mode allows you to basically ground power. Which... I think it has somewhat of a relief. Because there's cracks on the ground like this, and you can dive in there, and then you can stop. There's a jump button. Yeah, I can... And I'm just gonna... 3 and 1. Nice. Alright, more stuff. Let me change the camera for you. Yeah, there's another rose right there. Also, it looks like I can combine the jump in the ground too. Alright, there's a big red coin. Alright, I'm not gonna check what we past there. I'm pretty sure, yep, I can bust some fire pipe open and go flying up here. 
found that for another capsule. At least I'm assuming that's what they're called. And I have to abandon the cone because this ladder. And it looks like there's a waddle de trapped in the cage there. Oh, and I have the option to do the bottom cutter. I'm gonna go cutter. And we have a rest of enemies. I am definitely not going to go to the charge to charge it. Definitely not. It is wild edge. Alright, so it looks like you have to go around the distance back. Can I get a hair? Yes, I can. What in the world was that there? It's the hard difficulty. What is what was that there? It's supposed to be the hard difficulty. So the melee combo has a bit of power to it. So eating him will give you the sword ability. And I can actually the waddle do. Okay, so it looks like there <coughs> Sorry about that, I have allergies. Anyway, it looks like there's three hidden waddle around the course. Now he's supposed to go back to Bob and Cutter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick the sword for a bit, because I gotta use it last episode and the sword ability I haven't seen yet. If I'm correct, over here there should be another one. I do have something to do with that guy. And yeah, spin attack didn't take over the list. Everything that's on a boss. I don't need to know right now. Over so here there should be... This. Whatever it is, I can still move. And the top one just gets a little bit I guess. And there's another Waddle Dee save. What else do I have to do? Just make two of blue and clear the Waddle Dees. I'll, I'll leave that guy. He's sleeping. He, he's not causing any trouble for us. We over here. Ooh, shiny thing. Which is just money. Anyway, over here we have a cutter. That has some. Oh, uh, that's cool. At least some marks on the ground, too. I never noticed that before. We have a sword enemy there, which is basically just make sure we have access to it, because cut down the cone, melt away the cone, and spike down. Ow! Spike downwards! This guy ate a waddle bee and a bird. Anyway, that's all the waddle bees saved. That, that's the one. That's all the tools. No, wait, there's one more tool. Never mind. Alright, let's continue up here. So, yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure I fought, fought the boss in this area as well. I'm ready. No, I wasn't. Looks like there's a tulip right here. That should be the last tulip, right? Yep. That's five tulips. And a pipe. Which can do the top. And that's one big snapping turtle. Oh, oh, oh there's one of these inside there. I never noticed that. So, don't worry, these don't protect us. Never mind. But the pipe can. So I create a tiny hole here with a bunch of corn in it. And you should be able to use that metal to fight. And we're going to stop. Getting us the last capsule. So I guess the last guy didn't eat the waddle leaf, he was just hiding in the shell. this first level. So by beating the level you get three waddledies, there are three hidden waddledies around the map, and then there's special challenges around. Alright, and then I got 311. I right, the capsule. Looks like I got Kirby. Kirby was pulled a mysterious vortex that appears in the sky over his home on planet Popstar. 
When he woke up, he was in a new world. Traveling through that vortex, Arthur gave Kirby a new mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure. We got the traffic code, which doesn't have a description. And the waddlebees. The beast pack managed to catch these waddlebees with one golden cage. If they work together, they might be able to... Oh, never mind. There's two sides of the move. All they can do is cry out for help. La, 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 la. Somebody saved them. And with that, there's the Wolf Star. Hey. With level 2. Alright, now, I am going to be trying to save all the Waddle Dees. But, oh, uh, your figure collection is now available. Use this to view all the figures you collected. See if you can collect the full set. So how many are there? 79 in Volume 1. And what are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? And are there descriptions for the tractor cone? No. <laughs> Jeez, the, I did not expect Kirby in the background. So it looks like only 3 star items have descriptions. And now I guess we'll head to Waddledee Town and see what's changed. Because we rescued, what, nine Waddledees? <laughs> the Waddledees are rebuilding the town. So you can you can open up new buildings and helpful resources. The Waddledee Cinema is now open. We watch some memorable scenes on the big screen. So, it looks like at the top of the screen, the, the, it looks like the Waddledees have been hard at work. Want to take a look around? Sure. So, at the top of the screen, you can see how many Waddledees you've saved. There's a Mega Tomato here, so that's our full meal. And once I get these, this the right amount of Waddledees, they'll be able to build shops. And this one just builds regardless. What's back here, then? To Arrival Point. Oh, that allows you to play the first mission of the game, Arrival Point. And is that it? So it looks like the Waddle... So I'm surprised. That only take, it only takes 50 Waddle which seems like a lot, but I'm pretty sure we'll get that in no time. There's something up there. What is that? Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can get up there. I saw a shiny. Is there... No. Alright, let me jump on this. No, nope, that's not me either. I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to get to that eventually. I wonder what the boys play about that. Okay. I'm sure I'll be able to get to that shiny thing eventually. But for now, until then, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye!